Hugs, sequins, and rainbows as Taiwan enjoys victory over coronavirus. Pride March follows national success story in curbing COVID-19 pandemic. At the entrance to Taipei's Pride March on Saturday, Pearl Jane and Lance Xie held up a sign offering free hugs. Similar placards were waved above the pulsating crowd of 100,000 sweaty and bedazzled party goers crushed along the parade route. People in Taiwan are still taking precautions, mandatory masks on public transport, digital registration for some events, isolation for people with symptoms, but life in Taipei had barely changed in 2020. Saturday was Taiwan's 202nd consecutive day without a single locally transmitted case, and for the tens of thousands out celebrating, COVID feels like a distant memory. Taiwan, a self-governing democracy of 24 million dangerously close to mainland China, where the virus began, has essentially eliminated community transmission of COVID-19 after recording just 550 mostly imported cases and seven deaths. Amid a global downturn, Taiwan's GDP is predicted to grow by more than 1.5% this year. In the third quarter it grew by 3.3%, the fastest since 2018. The only other government claiming growth is China, which considers Taiwan to be a breakaway province that it must take back by force or otherwise. In Taiwan, even though people are quite divided on political issues, when we face a common threat people want to come together and work together, Yawen Cheng, professor of health policy at the National Taiwan University, told The Observer. After the 2004 SARS epidemic killed 73 of its people, Taiwan strengthened and centralized its disease control framework and pandemic preparation.